Hello there, I'm Smita and thank you so much for watching this video today. I'm doing a start to finish adult coloring page. I'm going to sketch it, draw it and then color it and the whole video is going to be at a fast pace so it's speed it up. I start off with my sketchbook. This is a pentallic sketchbook that I love. It's 8.5 by 11 and I have an eraser and a mono drawing pencil. The eraser is actually as important as the pencil because at first I erase a lot until I'm happy with where everything is. Once I have a rough sketch, I go in with the pen and I'm using a mono twin permanent marker. I like this marker because I know that it does not bleed. So if I go over it with a marker or a blending pen later, the black stays black and the colors don't get muddy. So once I draw in all of my lines, I'm ready to color. To color today, I'm using two sets of colors. I'm using a set of color pencils. These are the Arajatan color pencils by Tombow. And I'm also using some dual brush pens as highlights. But I start with the colored pencils and I actually color in the entire drawing with just the pencils at first. I don't really shade with the color pencils. I just fill in areas with colors. And I like these pencils because they come in such really bright colors. Now to give more depth in areas, I use the dual brush pens. So I like to go over an area with the pen and then use the colorless blender pen that comes in the set to just blend the color all over the color pencils. I just have one blue dual brush pen and this one is really bright and I was very hesitant to bring it to the paper. So what I did was I tore some wax paper from, uh, this is actually from my kitchen, and I'm scribbling the blue onto the wax paper. Then using the colorless blender pen, I'm picking up the blue and going over the color pencil areas. And you will see that this one marker looks different on each color pencil area because the colors lay transparent. I similarly do this with the pink. To give more depth to the flamingo, I scribble some pink and I pick it up with the colorless blender.
I want to make sure that the colorless blender has been cleaned. So I have a piece of scrap paper on the side and I just scribble with the blender pen until it runs clear. For these flowers that you see here, they started as yellow but then I, I decided that I needed a little bit of pink around the edges. So again I'm picking up the pink with the colorless blender pen and I'm just applying it towards the edges of the petal. Similarly around the title, the Be Yourself, I want a gradient green. And I'm not bringing the marker to the page, I'm just scribbling some of the color onto the wax paper, lifting it up and applying it and giving a gradient effect. At this point I'm almost done with the drawing but I felt that the blue underneath could be more vibrant so I'm just coming back with the blue. This technique is very useful if you have just few colors of the dual brush pens and you can mix and match colors very easily and I talk more about this in another video of mine in which I use the dual brush pens as watercolors to color in another adult coloring page. You can click here to see that one. Now the flamingo drawing is all complete and you can see it here and I enjoyed coloring it. If you enjoy coloring you can head over to my website and I leave a link right here and in the description box below where I have a free printable download of this flamingo. If you have any ideas or thoughts for me, please leave them in the comment box below. And as always, more information is available on my website, smilingcolors.com. Happy coloring!